We're gonna champ select. Yes. This is game two of the finals. Dominate to me, number 100. Oh my god. I'm so glad I was able to be here today. Again. You're really quiet. I am? Yeah, your mic is doing that thing where you have to mute it and then unmute it again. Is it working better now? I, it's, it's magic. Like, I. It's insane to me how you know that exact fix because that one time it happened. That's, that's a whole other level. I don't even know. Like that just it's, it's just it's it's awful. And then you do that, and it's perfect. Also, Afro Dynasty hasn't connected yet, so I'm not sure. I'm percent sure. scare. Someone in the uh, in the chat asked a um, an actually really good question, um, which is surprisingly simple. Why does it take so long in between games? Uh, there's actually multiple reasons for that, and I don't think this is ever something that I've answered in the cast before. Uh, Number one, uh, we have to run ads, uh, we have to set up the next game lobby, you know, get everyone in the lobby and stuff like that, do chat bands, things like that, and then once all that stuff's done, we jump into the, uh, the actual, you know, launcher thing. So there's a little bit of administrative stuff. Occasionally we have to wait for another game that's going on to finish. Not in this particular case in the, uh, finals, uh, here. But, uh, you know, in other rounds, like if we're in the round of eight, you know, in our round of eight game that we cast finishes in ten minutes, and the other one is, you know, 15 minutes in and not over yet, we're going to have to wait till the other game finishes before we have another one going on. Um, Blue Tetris, I see the slightly inflammatory thing that you just said about breaks, and uh, everyone gets that to an extent. Uh, but, in particular, uh, what you're asking about the finals games is... The players that end up in the finals have just marathoned through a whole bunch of games. Um, you know, in a uh, tournament setting, you know, they'll play back to back to back for, you know, an hour or two hours at a time. Sometimes you need to get up and refill your drink. You know, uh, just any number of other things that require you to get up from your computer. Uh, this is something that is a common player complaint at very large lands like MLG, where, you know, if a player goes into the loser's bracket, they're just, like, playing non-stop for, like, three hours to get to the finals. Meanwhile, the people in the winner's bracket are just sitting around doing nothing for two hours while they're waiting for the brackets to catch up. And then you have also, one guy going in kind of fresh, and you have another guy, a guy going in kind of ragged. So, you know, when both teams get to kind of break for a little bit, um, this usually happens between game one and two of the finals, uh, you know, it's or, or just right before finals is when those guys usually are like, okay, let's get up for a second and let's... uh you know, go into this game on equal footing, not one team being a little bit uh, too fatigued mentally and physically from all that, you know, hand action and all that, uh, you know, mental process. And there's not another team that has a, maybe a little bit of advantage from being a little bit fresher, you know, having a chance to sit and chill, possibly even watch the other team play their last game to get some intel or something like that. So that's what's up with the uh, the delay. That's all the factors that go into it. Also, sometimes the caster's voices are dying and you can't just, like, drink a whole bunch of water and then be fine. You have to drink a little bit of water over several minutes to get your voice back. Otherwise, you're going to have a coughing fit before it even starts. That's, yeah. that's not fun. You don't want to come out sounding like tasteless. You, you get the tasteless voice if you cast for too long. Alright, so, we had some uh, bands. Lulu Cast and Timo Kazix with the chat bands. Jarvan, Pantheon, by Talon, Blanc, and Jace. Nothing too surprising there. Um... Really good Jace last game, so getting that band away. And picks are also pretty standard. We're going to see a Yasuo! 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 Yasuo would be a really fun name to yell. Yasuo! Yasuo! I like saying it a lot. <laughs> Somewhere there's a frowning person who speaks Japanese and is like, You just pronounced that awfully, and the accent was horrible. I'm sorry. I think I'm almost as excited to say Yasuo as I was to say Jinx when she came out. <laughs> I was ridiculously excited for Jinx. I'm so excited we're going to get to see Jinx. BB Pop Jinx, even. BB Pop Jinx is awesome. I made him play it on the first day. I was like, you have to play Jinx for me. I have to cast a Jinx. And I think he did. Jinx's kit's really good in Dominion. You know, while we're on that subject, uh, Jinx is really good at delaying on points because of Zap and Flame Chompers. So she could sit and just be a hassle for a little while and just kind of hang out back and delay and waste time. Uh, unfortunately, also, unlike other not? champions, her range is a little bit shorter than some. Like, uh, 
And her damage is not quite as terrifying as someone like Nidalee's uh, poke, for example, or Jace's. So she can face off not quite as well as some of the more powerful poke champions, but uh, throughout the course of the game, her sustained damage is a lot higher than some of those other characters that have better poke. Um, if you're channeling a point to capture it right next to each other, she can also interrupt both of you with her fish bones. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, if you stack up, she has that AO AOE effect. Someone asked why... Uh, Gabs42345 asks, why is Talon so strong on Dominion? Because he has very sudden initiation. The ability to use Shadow Assault while, you know, at the border of the Fog of War and just sort of walk out and then all of a sudden you're in the middle of a lane and then you have Cutthroat on top of that. So your effective strike distance that you can reach while still remaining hidden is very, very large. And his burst damage is extremely good. So it's... He, he's good. Like, it just blows he's people scary. up. Yeah. He is really scary. And uh, you also ask, what about Katarina? Katarina is normally a champion that I am very opinionated about because I used to run the show back in 2011 with a, uh, a very tanky, sustained Katarina build and just disrupt all day long and get a lot of base damage off of you know the multiple uh, cooldown resets I get from assists. That build no longer works. Katarina is a little bit squishier because of the changes to Shunpo with her rework. And uh, her damage is still very high, but she's a little bit more easy to focus down these days. Katarina has extraordinary damage potential if you are quick with her, but if you have a team that's aware, she can also be very easy to shut down. So, it's you have to know how to use your Katarina on your team in order for her to be effective. It's, you know, her more so than other champions, you're really relying on your allies to make you do the damage because of the following two things. One, she needs Shunpo targets to escape from. If you're running away from a fight, swing back a few steps so that Shatteria, so that Kateria can shun Po out to you. She can just poof with that, whatever the sound effects it makes now, that shh, instead of that cool poof sound. And uh, she can just jump right out. And uh, with uh, the, the shun Po... I, I can't words. She, so she can shun Po out uh, to you. So be a door for your Katarina. It's a good thing to do. The second thing is get those kills for your Katarina. If Katarina uses... All of her abilities, let's say she hits hits everything, everything's on cooldown, and she walks back out of the fight. And if you dive through and you get that one assist that she needs to reset, and you die in the process, but that reset gives her enough damage to do full round against the other three guys, she might come out with a triple from that. And you have to be conscious of situations where that occurs, because sometimes diving for that assist resets your cat. It's like reloading your machine gun. You want to do that. Finding situations in which that's advantageous is difficult, and more so on top of that, the Katarina has to be aware that you're setting up that assist train for her. So, she is a great champion with a lot of potential, but she is very, like, team and comp dependent, and positioning dependent. So, Katarina is played every now and then, but not very often. Yeah, there are a couple... TLDR of all of that. There's a couple great cat players. Uh, I think Sub Cutie she goes by a bunch of different names, is probably the best Katarina player that we have in Dominion. Uh, and Dominant Gaming Zone, the feed ski is actually pretty freaking good with Kat also. Me, I'm not very good with her anymore. Uh, I don't really enjoy the way that she's played post-rework, so I don't really play her these days. But that's what's up with those two uh, champions. So, uh, take a look at the stuff that's going on in this particular game. I smell people's Gragas bottom lane? No, Wolfer is in the game, so Wolfer brand down there. Uh, going up against new V3 Morgana. Is our uh, the names Lulu, Cast, and Timo, and Kha'Zix at the bottom? There's extra bands. We do ten bands in the format that we use. Oh, I should, like, use. write bands there on yeah. my... Yeah. For anyone who is not familiar with the Dominate Dominion tournaments, um, you know, uh, Riot Games' main focus is on... Summoner's Rift. I mean, that's their moneymaker, that's where they put a lot of their resources into. Dominion is not quite as well balanced, because the things that balance champion on one map might make them a little bit different on the other. It's only recently that there has been map-specific balance changing. So as a result, there's some, there are a few more champions that are particularly powerful over here on the Crystal Scar than there are on Summoner's Rift, because Summoner's Rift is more ac actively balanced, because that's where they get the majority of their revenue from. 
So, we, the players, have decided to take it upon ourselves to uh, help out in the balancing for the community. Uh, we said community. Um, there's a lot of really good champions that are really powerful. Uh, what do you think we should do about that? They should add more bands. And we said, how many bands total is good? So, the question was, six bands, eight bands, or ten bands? And uh, we as a community voted on it. We decided that uh, ten bands, doing two extra bands for each team for a total of four extra bands, um, was going to help out. And when we implemented that, things actually got a lot better for us competitively. So those extra bands are uh, there to, you know, just help us out a little bit. Have a little bit of diversity of play. But it's getting better. Kassin isn't even OP anymore. Yeah. Riot's working on it, but as they said, it's, it's going to be slowly. It'll happen, but it'll be slow. And we're like, you know what? Thanks for helping out, Riot. You guys are doing some cool stuff these days. Like, and by the way, Riot's art team's amazing. Ghost Bride Morgana is so cool. These two teams go into game two of the finals of Dominate to be number 100. Really happy that I have been able to come out and commentate for you guys today. I still have a couple weeks break before I'll be back for regular casting, but I'm really happy that I was able to be here. You guys are an awesome community. All of you viewers are great. You know, competitors, the people that run this show, I'm just really happy to be involved with this at all. It's so awesome. Uh, we have uh, Goon Squad up against Clueless for this game, too. Clueless is currently up 1-0 to zero in this series. Goon Squad's team uh, needs two wins to take home the victory. The Goon Squad's team, consisting of Practice Yellow playing as Zyra, Afro Dynasty as Leona, Rage playing as... Yasuo, No Namer playing as Wukong, and Noob V3 playing as Morgana. I am Pi out of Sigma Symbol plus one of your commentators, <laughs> and casting with me is... I am Wrangle River, and I am definitely Tao out of your commentators, and the other team is Clueless. It is Half-Hearted playing Maokai, Retired Peoples, AK Commander Peoples, and a lot of other names playing as Gragas, BB Pop playing Jinx, Wolfer playing Bran, and Mad Supporto playing Jada. And if you think that Tao is better than Pi, massive props to you. Tao is too Pi. It's just better. You can Google the Tao Manifesto if you are interested. And getting into game here. Pretty standard items. We actually have Supportal going for a Fiendish Codex and an Amptome. Not really wanting the boots. He has his passive Tailwind. Oh, someone asked, uh, Gabs, uh, again, asked another good question. Uh, you know, Gabs, hey, thanks for coming and checking out the show today. Uh, and uh, we love answering questions. Why is Maokai so commonly picked? He's an extremely durable character. He has very good range for uh, disruption because of his sapling toss. As you see there, it's really good at zoning, forcing people away like it just did with Rage. It's an AoE, so it's really good at interrupting people from a good distance. And his, his crowd control is solid. He has a snare and an airborne, which is good. So, he has a nice kit. Uh, you know, good range for us, not a lot of damage. Nice things to have, but more importantly, Vengeful Maelstrom is a giant damage reduction ability that's very good for throwing down on a point. Makes for some really good engagements for your team if you have a Maokai And speaking of engagements, no need for running on to retired peoples there. Zap goes down, they're just gonna try and go on him, he flashes away, they're still chasing him. They want this kill, he picks up the health, but he was ignited, BB finally going to go back to the rest of the fight, but Maokai has already gone down, Gragas does pick up the kill on to Wukong, so Portal going to get dashed to there by Rage, he manages to pick up the health relic, he is ignited though, <laughs> trying to dodge away from the Seal Tempest if he can. BB Pop does dodge the E away, they're gonna put down Flame Chompers, Windwall comes in, blocks a couple auto attacks, but BB walks to the other side of it, and Rage is gonna go down. Portal really, really low, but he is just going to actually recall there. Flash away from uh, Jinx, and it's not even enough. Goes down. Practice Yellow in the fight. Trying to land his ease, but not being able to. Gonna get W2, Twisted Advance from a half part. Peoples comes in, drops a barrel roll, really, really wants damage onto Zyra. And it's just half part and no name are exchanging auto attacks there. Meanwhile, Rage and BB going at it again in bot. Maokai does go down, BB wants to kill onto No Name, where he manages to get it, he gets excited, and the Flame Choppers go onto Rage. Zyra Plant is going to be hurting a lot, gotta kill his Zyra Plant, gotta focus the Zyra Plant. So Portal did recall, and he's back by just recalling and walking back up. No revive there. B 
Phoebe gets stunned up by Afro. Might actually go down here. Explosive cask as he is. It's level six. There's the super mega death rocket. He gets excited again. John channeling the monsoon. The passive rise of Thorns does land there from Zyra. Can he get the interrupt? Quinwall comes down. Rage did stop channeling, but he should be able to get it soon. Or will he? Phoebe trying to kite backwards, trying to kite backwards. The solar flare comes out. That's enough damage. And after Dynasty thinks of the kill, John is the only one here. Needs to get that interrupt down. The point is still neutral, still neutral. Grag is coming up alongside Zyra here. Gonna throw down a barrel roll. The point is so close to being captured. Rage just needs to channel for a little bit. Or after Dynasty could, and there's no cue from John. And there's the point getting captured all the way. Windmill goes over the Goon Squad. Clues all the strangle thorns with that mass enough damage to knock up on a half hour. He is channeling that ventral maelstrom soon. It's gonna put him out of mana quite rapidly there. And he's actually completely out of mana at this point. Does get the kill onto Leona, and there is the pause. You know what I would love as, as a statistic, but I'm not going to look this up because it would take too long. I want to know the total amount of time paused across Dominion competitive streams from all of them. It's always BB's fault. This is BB's internet. BB's internet does tend to hiccup. Alright, so Maka goes down. Alright, got a couple people recalling. Uh oh, they're going to leave the top completely open. How are they gonna bite on this? They don't have a large minion wave yet. That's true. They're trying to get one up as quick as they can, but their uh, window of opportunity is like closing pretty rapidly here. I want to see here. people set up slow pushes more. Slow pushes are ridiculously strong. They are. That's one thing that drives me insane about when I play Summoner's Rift, but I just play it at a really low level, so you know I don't expect it to be a thing. But you go out and you just clear out a couple minions and you leave, and it builds on its own. But then someone goes down there and kills everything and resets it for the enemy's advantage. Drives me batty. But that's a different game mode for a different time. There's Yasuo coming in. The last breath is Jana's last breath. He left her breathless. I have I a drink, Afro. There. Ooh, he did connect with that. And chain that over. Afro dies to lead the charge. Dodges the zap. It's probably coming up to the top. Haunted Zyra is a great skin, by the way. Well, I didn't know that. I actually it had don't like it that much. Specific. I bought it, but I, I don't like know. the plant effects more than Zyra's actual model. Though. I still like the default Zyra best, but I have both of her skins, so I always use one. Ooh, that's a really good flame chompers right there from BB. It was also a good. It got them that neutral. I'm pretty sure. Roots. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I think you're right. Monsoon splitting up the team there. Okay, coming in. Who is he going to go on to? It is Yasu! Puts on the Ventral Maelstrom. Great wind wall there! On oh, the knockup from Zyra. Gets the knockup onto Baby. He's going to go down to Zyra. Zyra's pretty scary, man. Kill for Wukong as well. Zyra is a dead plant. Especially Haunted Zyra is a dead plant. Whoa. And Supportal is going to be able to float on Janna away from there. New V3 and uh, Wolfer down the bottom lane. I'm just taking a quick look at items and abilities for anyone that is interested uh, in such things. You know, it looks like they are both going for their AoE first in favor of the wave clear and then picking up their other abilities later. Both of them are going into Mana Regan. We got Nathanes on one and we have a Chalice going on Wolfer. Take a look at the middle of the map here. Twisted Advance in on practice sale. Avenger Mail's been thrown down. Leona Zenith Blades through the opposite side of the fight. People's coming around from the back. They are able to take down Zyra. There's a Cyclone from Wukong being used as well. Half Heart's health getting dangerously cheesy, but is going to get picked up eventually by No Namers Wukong. Now it's People's by himself on Gragas trying to run away from Rage. Aphrodite is looking for a Zenith Blade cooldown here, I am sure. And there he is going to get it. Land that. Take it down, Gragas. And now is Wolfer versus the world as he had roamed up from the bottom lane. But that particular roam might not end so well. New V3 is. Pauses. They're my favorite. I can't do that for the duration of the entire pause, but man, would that have been cool. Alright, so, once again, Goon Squad out to an early lead. But, honestly, Quillas usually gets behind. They, they Early on. They run late game comps. They do. AD carry. Like, some of their biggest losses have just been against, like, really good early game comps. Uh, like, back when, um, Cheese Animal was competing. Was competing. 
Like, that's something they lost to. And... Whack! So now that did interrupt it, but it looks like BB's gonna show up just in time to stop the minions from pushing it neutral. It was very, very close. Oh, it does get hit by that binding. Can the, can the cannon creep do it? Wow. So paper thin, no graphic left. It was literally at zero health. New yep. P3 is gonna go down. Oh! Ooh, the black Flash? shield oh. avoids the snare, flashes out. Good job there by New V3. But unfortunately. Not good enough. The tree has come for you. Retired Peoples has found everything bad from the enemy team. He got a free trip back to the summoner platform. Practice Yellow Airborne there, gonna be interrupted from capturing that point. A lot of pressure going on over there. They are, however, uh, in a pretty good position, wedged in. Half-hearted, trying to fall back, is going to be caught by that Zenith Blade. Oh! Janna with the knockback may have saved him. Oh. No, the Solar Flare! Yeah, that was a really good Solar Flare. Super Mega Death Rocket was fired into there at the beginning. And oh, ooh! The flash is so the flash out from BB. That was a decoy flash, flash too. Breath coming in. It's a knock up onto Wolf or BB can get the kill, the knock up from Jana. Yeah, he can. He gets excited too. There's a kill. Oh, the wind wall! He didn't get the kill on the Afro because of the wind wall. Zap goes across. Squirtle gets the slow. Practice Yellow is waiting to go onto BB. He's gonna go down. Oh dear. That wind wall was worth like all the RP right now. That was a really good wind wall. Sorry to say. That was a really good wind wall. And a four cap for the goon squad. Yeah, uh, goon squad, as similar to the previous game, they got ahead by a fair margin, and Clueless was able to work their way back into the game over time. We'll see if Clueless is going to be able to repeat that feat again this game or not. Uh, they're going to easily get this they point have back. Time to get the point, yeah. yeah, well, nah, so, as effective. you see there, uh, Half Hard is going to run interference, and it's going to be okay. At the top point, though. Current point of contention. Ooh, the BFT was used, but they're not getting a lot of damage off that BFT debuff, though. So that is going to be down for the moment. Retired Peoples put himself in harm's way to try and interrupt, and is going to be taken down by Rage Yasuo. Yeah. Yasuo doing a lot of damage. Zap comes in, doesn't hit anything. The twist advance forward, actually, to the decoy. And Zyra... Trying to land a grassing right there. We're calling. <laughs> we're calling. Yes, we're just like let's let's just recall here. Let's this just is leave. Really good place to recall. We're let's a creepy get out place. Of here. It's like you accidentally walk through somebody's house while you're drunk, and you're like, "Oh, this isn't our yard." You just like jump over the fence and leave instead of trying to walk back through the house. And BB takes a ton of damage, but is still alive for the moment. Ventral Maelstrom comes down. Oh, the oh, Q lands. Zyra able to pick that up at just the last moment. And yeah, so coming up. So Portal is so. Right now, double kill for Zyra. Half hearted twist is advances away. And it's a kill for Wukong. Four people up here at the top. Peoples cannot help that by himself, so gank bottom. Yeah, they're gonna try to go into Morgana. Black Shield has expired now. Explosive Cat nice. lands, but binding. Oh, but the oh, only has a little bit. Wolf are taken down! Soul Shackles so much damage. That was a great knockback, but the damage from Shoal Shackles was a little bit too much for him to deal with there. He's going to push on across towards the point. Zyra is there, however. And Zyra does... Neither one of them have their ultimates available. And Peoples may win a poke war here. If he gets into one. May just go for the straight dive. Just, is yeah. able to pick it up because of that Storm Shield buff. But... Does go down. Zyra has that extra true damage. Yeah. It's going to make for an even fight up top, though. Well, no, an even feat, because Retired Peoples uh, is coming back with his revive to this fight, and Zyra is still dead, so they got a 4v3 going on up here, and that sets them up in a good position to try and retake this windmill. Oh, nice solar flare straight onto BB there. Leona going to go for the dive. Peoples needs to get away from the fight. Monsoon comes in, getting a little bit of healing. Mega Death Rocket comes in. Rage goes down. It's a double kill for Jinx, and this is just what Clueless does. They get to the mid game when they're about 200 Nexus health, and suddenly they just win fights. Clueless turns this point around. Now, Wukong is coming back. Uh, he had used his revive there, but. 
there's no play off that revive. That revive is down, and he he's gained absolutely nothing from it for his team. He can't make a play for a refinery or for drill, excuse me, because you know he doesn't know if someone recalled or not. He can't make a play for top because for all he knows, there's still three or four people up there. It's very incomplete information. They could go in for Jinx here, but... And they do land the uh, E there. Twin Shadows coming in. From Supportal. For those of you asking in the chat, his opening items are Phoenix Codex and an Amtome. No boots in the in the opening items. There's the Explosive Cast going down. BB gets dove on. I think he's probably going to go down. Solar Flare, that was a great Solar Flare. Oh, and the wing wall stops the Janna Tornado. MVP Yasuo, man. Yeah, he's been doing but a Jinx does have good a job. Practice yellow. Gonna get exploded. He does get the Strangle Thorns down first, but it doesn't land onto anyone. Oh, and that ult going across doing a ton of damage there. Brand does die. Maybe trying to get something onto Wukong. Windmill neutral right now. Actually, two points are neutral. Ooh. If Windmill comes in. Zap lands onto No Namer. It's two versus three right now, but the three have very low HP. Oh, and Yasuo comes in with the last breath after the Wukong knockup. That is such a strong combination. Mad Portal is going to go down too. The question oh dear. is, how long is it going to take for him? Wait, did Actually, you say Mad Portal is going to go down? He's Janna. He's going to get out of this. I. He's going to get a kill. Oh, he got a kill. I think he's he the slowing a down a little bit where No Namer was. I think if he would have gone straight out, he might have gotten out a little bit further and been able to pop that airborne and escape. But usually yeah, he lives on Janna. Well, for taking a ton of damage from Morgana, W does not land. There's the Tormented Soil on the Q, and Wolfer is hurting quite a bit. That minion damage helped him a lot out in that. Yeah. I just saw a strange red line on my screen, and then it went away. Huh. Janna going down to the bottom part of the map. Looking for an engagement in the middle. Zyra has picked up the Storm Shield. Half Heart has the Storm Shield for his team. And Half Heart is just, just a little bit ahead uh, of Zyra's in expiration time. But both pretty close to each other. They want to make a play for the top. They don't have a good engagement angle yet. Half Heart right, trying to make one up here. There's the fight. Pupils actually gonna get the kill on Yasuo almost immediately, and BB gets away from the Strangle Thorn and just runs through the entire fight. Somehow manages to live despite running straight past Maokai or Wukong and Leona there. Yeah, he just dove That's straight through, dropped the chompers. He's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run away. Just gonna run away. Don't mind me, I'm small. Wee. Alright, so we are stuck in another pause here in the middle of a fight. So, Peoples is dead for real. He doesn't have revive. Rage just revived. So, he's going to be back in the fight momentarily. And Supportal does have revive. But I don't know if he's going to go down. What can BB do before Yasuo gets here? He can flash, flash out from <laughs> under that solar flare. That's exactly what he's capable of. On the scene there, coming in, going to channel a little bit. Grasping Roots is actually going for BB instead of oh going dear. for Leona. I don't know if you wanted to do that, BB. BB, that was unfortunate. Yeah, I don't think that was the smartest of ideas. And I hesitate to say this ever at any point in a Clueless game, but Goon Squad look like they might have this one. It is a distinct possibility. This portal will up to the top part of the map for some reason. Half hard scouting around. Half hard's up here, but he doesn't have any of his damage behind him. So if bad things happen. They'll take a while to happen, but they'll still happen. Yep. Ooh. Practice yellow pretty low after those zaps. There's a mega death rocket, but it gets hit by Leona. Yeah, Leona running the body block for them was good there. Otherwise, practice yellow's health would have been dangerously cheesy, and he would have had to recall or risk dying. Oh, and he does get caught out in that Twisted Advance. And Zyra gets the BFT off, but no further damage to follow that up. We'll have the Rise of the Thorns. Does hit it onto Supportal. The fight is on the other side. Well, this is going to be popped by Gragas. And there's the Pyroclasm. Does a ton of damage to both Wukong and Leona. Maybe trying to kite away, trying to not take too much damage. Does a little bit of damage to the decoy there. 
gonna fire off that zap. No Namer and Afro Dynasty dueling it off against Half Heart and Peoples there. But the shutdown there goes over go. to Jinx. That's where they want the money too, is on their AD carry. Zap lands onto Afro Dynasty. And BB should be able to pick this up eventually. Ooh, let's see this blade into the chompers momentarily. Eventually. Meanwhile, in Bali, in New P3, Forest Wolfer is revived once again. Ooh, everything misses. So yeah, the fact that Supportal picked away the Morgana was actually pretty huge last game because New P3 is owning the Bali with that pick right now. John is sort of off to the side, trying to defend the fact that they had had a cap there. Gonna be a 2-2 cap for a while. Oh, Black Shield down now for a few seconds. There's just so much dive potential onto Jinx. It's really difficult for Baby to get anything off in fights because he gets dove by Wukong, he gets dove by Yasuo. He gets dove by Leona. And Morg run with 35% CDR right now means plenty of black shield. And CDR is a really powerful stat on Morg because of how long cooldowns are normally. A half heart, it takes a ton of damage in top. Gonna get ulted by Yasuo. Monsoon comes across. There's a mega death rocket. Actually gets blocked by the wind wall. And there's the last breath onto BB. And that's exactly the explosion that I was talking about before. He just can't survive anything because Yasuo does so much damage. The portal gets the exhaust down now. Tower is doing a good amount of damage to him, actually. Can he? This would be insane! No, he can't. Nope. No Namer picking up the cap on that tower means that he did not get shot by that last tower hit that would have been required for him to get killed. John with a mega CDR, or move speed rather, mega move speed built there once again. Yeah, and that's going to go into a uh, BFT also. Yeah. All of the move speed, a good amount of CDR. Wolferg is probably going to go down to new V3. Yeah. New V3 is outplaying this bot lane so hard right now. He is dodging every single skill shot. He's landing every single skill shot. Really, really good Morgana play. Ooh. Eating a little bit of that zap damage and eating that slow. New V3 still taking some. Still taking a little bit of uh, melee. Oh dear, good snare. Let's keep New V3 alive for a few moments here. We got Jana coming around from twin the back. coming in. Nope. Spell immune ver works versus twin shadows. I did not know that, but now I know. And so do any viewers that didn't already know that. And the Varys who did already know that, still know it. We didn't make you forget anything. Yay! Super Mega Death Rocket! Wukong is super dead. Snoopy 3 is gonna go down too. Little matter of time. Oh, the Wukong Ooh. comes in! Is he gonna die to the last take of the Black Pool? He body slams away from it. He's burning. Shield comes in. The revive! Revive the revive! Can you land the Dark Fighting? He's gonna land the Soul Shackles there. Spell Immune is really strong. Peebles is like, <laughs> he's I'm frantically kidding. running from every minion. That, that was insane. Morgana just picked up the kill on Jinx there. Does not land the Dark Binding here. So Bren did just manage to backdoor the refinery. Ooh, uh -oh. Gragas goes in, lands the body slam. Can he land a barrel roll? That would Ooh, be the kill. Ooh, nice job, people. is so low right now. Oh my god. True support. He gives the, he gives uh -oh. the shield to his carry, even though he's that low. And there's the Dang. explosive cast. Still there. Great explosive cast from Peoples. Peoples still actually alive. I think he's healing slowly off these health relics. That's the horrifying part. Oh, no shield in time. And I don't actually know if he can even duel Leona right now, let alone the fact that Morgana is respawning. He's gonna have to get away, and he's actually just gonna go down, I think. Seems like it. Ooh. No. Looks like he just got out of range. Death Rocket, Super Mario Death Rocket! Death Rocket! Death Rocket! Death Rocket! Wow. This is the bottom lane blender. Bottom lane blender? 
Yeah. It just keeps going and things keep getting mixed up. If they capture this, it's game. Well, High Peoples loves this health relic. If they capture this, it's game. If they capture this, it's game! Triple kill for Morgana! Practice only gets a massive black shield. That's gonna be game. Yep. Game. Here, take it back. We're gonna go to game three. Game right, three so tonight, that folks. Be number 100, and we have a game three of the finals between the Goon Squad and Clueless. And that was some great League of Legends play. That was some nice bottom lane action that game. That was really I good. I never put the camera top. Nothing was going on top. It was just Suo not being able to kill Maokai. So. Yeah, Zyra once again out in front with damage. Zyra, they decided to ban Jace instead of uh, banning Zyra. I think Jace is easier to kill. I think they should leave Kastin open instead of leaving Zyra open. <laughs> yeah, let's give half hard cast in this next game. That'd be great. Jinx is almost there and damage all the champions. If the game had gone on a little bit longer, might have been able to surpass. Alright, and time spent dead. So Jinx with the most damage dealt on our team and also the most time spent dead. And I am going to drop some K-pop. And we will be back shortly with the finals game three. The winner of this game wins the entire tournament. Wins the very first three-digit Dominate Dominion. Get excited. We'll be back soon.